channel, Budget I Feel Later. My name is Mishania and this is part two of my life update and really just chit chatting and telling you about what's going to change about like my finances now that I have a job, I guess, and also what you'll see differently on my channel. Not that you care, but I think it helps for me to like, I could just sit down and write it out or talk to myself, but that's no fun. I want to share it with you. Um, and also I named that one video where I talk about like getting that, getting a, my new job. I named it part one. So I had to have a part two, duh. Um, but all this to say, there are some changes happening in terms of my finances. So biggest change is that I am still doing my side work that used to be my main income. I'm still doing my side work. And you know that my biggest thing has been, like we talked about this in January, right? My biggest thing is to now pay off debt, credit card debt. And so again, I have to go into more details once I get my paycheck because I don't know what that's going to look like. I have an idea of what that will look like because I've, you know, I like to do math. It's like in my free time. And so I kind of worked it out and to see like, after all these things are taken out, how much will I make a month? So... I have like a vague idea, but I really want to make a video once I have a full idea to talk about what paying off my debt is going to look like once I start getting my paycheck consistently, which should start on the 24th. But I will say that my one thing that's big is that my bills are going to go up now. So I graduated school and so some things that I was only paying partially towards are now going to require me to pay fully towards because I am working full time and I am no longer in school full time. So that's one. Uh, so even though I'm getting like a significant increase in my income, you know, it's still, there's still like not a lot of wiggle room. What I can say about my debt is the way I'm thinking about it in my head is that I will get paid every week in terms of my side income, but for my full time job, I get paid every two weeks. So on those weeks where I am only stuffing side income, um, once I start getting consistent pay where I can depend on my full-time job for my bills, my side income will now be primarily for um, my debt. And so on the weeks where I'm only stuffing my side income then, I'm thinking that I'll put 40 to 50% of that towards debt. And then, then on the weeks that I'm able to stuff my full-time income along with my side income, I'm thinking that I'll put 70 to 80% of my side income towards debt. So that's that. That's my plan for now without numbers being involved. There's no consistency with my side income and then also my full-time income. I don't know what that looks like, more or less. Next, I have added a bunch of new envelopes that I'm going to stuff now that I, I feel like I'm going to have more income to stuff those envelopes. There were a lot of things that I wanted to stuff for that I couldn't. Like I wanted an envelope for my mom. Like it's really important for me to give back to my mom what she put into me. And I will never probably be able to, not right now at least, be able to give her half of what she's given me throughout the years, especially while I was in school in terms of like emotional support, but also financial support. I can only do so much right now, but I want to do as much as I can. So that's one envelope that I've already made. I'm very excited to, you know, maybe surprise her with like $300, you know, or something once in a while. So that's one. I'm also going to be saving more for Ellie. So I already have a, a envelope for Ellie for like, you know, if she needs a new sweater, she doesn't wear sweaters, she hates sweaters, but like a new coat or like she needs new bags or she's, you know, her. I have to buy her food, like I buy her food every six months or something. So I have an envelope for that, but I wanna have an emergency fund. Ellie already has, she has insurance and um, I have a card for her that's for like any emergency or whatever, but I would really like emergency cash for her if anything happened. She's had, had to have major surgery once and I imagine that's something that's probably going to not last for very long. So we'll, we'll see. I want to plan for it. There are a lot more envelopes that I've like thought about and I have already made. And so now I will be doing three binders instead of two. So I still have my dollar and a baby binder, except now I've re removed the loan envelope from that. Um, and now I'm going to consistently be stuffing for loans because come May, those people are going to be asking for their money and I want to kind of have some leeway we'll see i am going to be separating my sinking funds um from my cash fund so look at the binder that i got 
this is the new binder it is this very pretty blue um and this will be housing my sinking funds so i already made some envelopes i this i had to do like a double thing with the creep cut and i ran out of the black so i like i printed it on this sticker this vinyl sheet this pink vinyl sheet and then i did like the black overlay because i really like the outline of this that i used from this was like just printed on my computer on like a sticker paper that i bought and i really liked it so i wanted to stick to it i didn't get the the sizing right but i like it so that's going to be my sinking funds and then my pink binder will be my like um, what do we call it the cash whatever so that's that secondly which I'm just remembering now I need to make um, an envelope for my older nephew because one of the promises that I made to myself and to my my sister-in-law was that if I got a full-time job early enough I was going to save for my nephew to come and visit me and it was it's going to be a significant amount that I need to save for and I'm gonna have to work it out how much I need to save for per week by I'm thinking July to have him come visit for like two or three weeks so my nephew is 14 or will be 14 when he comes I think um, his birthday is in May and I will be working still and while I have two days a week home um, you know there's three days that I'm going to be working and not really being able to spend most of the day with him and I don't feel comfortable with him being by himself not in the sense of safety but He's technically on vacation and he's just stuck in the house waiting for me to come home. That doesn't sit right with me. So my idea was to hire like a sitter who like serves not as a sitter, but as like a big brother type that takes him out and takes him to go play basketball or go skateboarding. We have a skate park close by. So, you know, things like that, going out to get pizza and exploring Brooklyn and just different things like that, playing, you know, video games. Like, I really want that for him. I really want him to have, like, a very nice kid summer where there he has no responsibilities, really, um, beyond helping to take care of himself, and he's enjoying learning things through somebody who he might look up to. So it's very important. But I also want to have fun with him when we're hanging out, you know? So especially on the weekends, I want to be able to take him around Brooklyn and Manhattan and show him, like, different places that I've enjoyed throughout the years. So... I want to I want to say for that I've already like reached out to my mom and be like hey you help me with this because you know your grandkid she's like yeah fine so I also want I for the longest time was a nanny and I am still babysitting and I understand that it's very important to pay people what they want and what they're worth and my biggest thing is that I'm never going to ball somebody's prices down in in the term of that I will not ball down a babysitter's prize and I will not ball down a cleaning person's prize. Never ever because I just think it, those are hard work and you deserve it. So I want to make sure that I have enough funds where I can one treat my nephew and also pay somebody well that's going to be hanging out with him. So that's another thing that I will be doing um, and what I will have to consider in terms of my finances. So there's a lot like riding on this job. Uh, but again, my main priority is paying off debt. And then the final thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I'm going to be doing a week of tutorials, tips and tricks um, on Canva and iMovie. And I don't know how that's going to go. I already recorded two videos. I want to do it one week. Each day has, or five days, not the seven day week, five days. Each day having a new um, video. I want them to be short and sweet, but who knows? So it's really just talking about graphics, about little things that... I've learned to do an iMovie that kind of helps to elevate your videos. I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't want to, like, I'm definitely not an expert and I don't, like, I see certain people's videos and I'm like, These, this is amazing, how do you do this? And I don't know how to do it, so please don't take it as me trying to give you all the tools. I'm just giving you the tools that I know and that I've worked out and maybe it'll be helpful to someone, maybe it won't be, and that's okay. So. I don't know when that's going to be. I'm hoping that in two weeks that will happen. I, again, I'm solely recording the videos and so, but I wanna make sure that I have all the videos recorded before I even attempt to start uploading anything because I just know myself. I'm not good at editing videos as soon as I should. So that is it in terms of updates. There will be another update, part three, I guess, or a debt update that won't be linked to this. It doesn't matter. There will be another update in terms of how I am truly going to tackle 
my debt, you will see like a step by step, maybe like even a like month by month, this is what I should expect to pay off. And then like, maybe I can look at look into my goals of how much will I have paid off by because I've never been able to do that. I've never been able to be like, I'm gonna set a goal of paying off $10,000 for the year because I can never consistently depend on my income. So we will see. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, a great month, and a great year. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.